Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So if you guys see my video yesterday, you would have known I spoke about an upcoming wildlife challenge that Rockstar Games would be introducing very soon into GTA 5 Online. Now it looks like Rockstar Games have officially confirmed we will be receiving this event tomorrow. However, not only that, we're also going to be receiving a brand new vehicle, a bunch of rare clothing, plus the usual weekly rewards. So we're going to be taking a full look at everything you guys need to know about tomorrow's weekly update, as well as some more information on some more content we can see Rockstar Games add in the near future. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so firstly, it is worth mentioning, of course, Rockstar Games will be introducing the brand new Wildlife Photography Challenge into GTA 5 Online tomorrow, exclusively for the PS5 and Xbox Series players. Now, players will be receiving cash and RP for each animal that they photograph during the Wildlife Photography Challenge. And once you guys take a picture of one single animal, you're all going to be unlocking the D-Class Park Ranger, which as you guys can see on screen, is another emergency vehicle that we will be receiving into the game. Of course, we've received a ton of different police vehicles. So of course, it only made sense Rockstar Games went ahead and released the Park Ranger vehicle also. However, you don't want to go ahead and purchase the vehicle straight away after taking one picture, as by taking 10 pictures of different animals during the challenge, you will be unlocking the trade price for this vehicle. However, more importantly, with the brand new wildlife photography challenge, all players will be able to unlock this Zoophilist outfit, as you guys can see on screen, which is inspired by Ace Ventura. And if you guys have never seen Ace Ventura before, I don't know where you've been living. It's a classic comedy movie, definitely worth going ahead and watching if you haven't seen it. However, as you guys can see on screen, he's got a crazy Hawaiian shirt, baggy trousers with big boots, very similar to Ace Ventura's outfit in real life. So a very cool looking outfit that Rockstar Games will be adding into the game come tomorrow. Now as far as what else Rockstar Games will be adding into the game tomorrow, as far as the brand new money and RP maker methods, HSW races, stunt races, time trials, and junk energy time trials will be offering double money and double RP, along with double money and double RP on the trapdoor adversary mode. So there will be some easy money to be made come tomorrow if you guys do like racing in the game. However, as far as the brand new discounts that we will be receiving, as you guys can see on screen, we will be receiving 30% of the Benefactor Shafter LWB, the Benefactor XLS Armored, the Debushi 770, the Grotty GT500, along with the Ubermac SC1. And as far as the gun van discounts, the primary discounts are going to be 40% of the compact EMP launcher and if you guys are a GTA Plus member of course you can also get 40% of the carbine rifle. Now as far as the new free vehicles all of you guys can get tomorrow of course with Rockstar Games adding double money onto all of these races it only made sense they went ahead and added a free racing vehicle into the game and the free podium vehicle come tomorrow will be the D-Class Hot Ring Sabre. And as you guys can see on screen, like I said, is a racing car and typically would be setting you guys back $820,000 if you was to go ahead and buy it off the in-game website. So once you was to fully upgrade this car, you're looking at spending over a million dollars. So definitely worth going ahead and getting for free come tomorrow if you guys don't have a decent racing car in the game. Now, if you guys are wondering how do you land on the podium vehicle spinning the lucky wheel every single time, I've already made a video going into full detail on how you guys can land on the podium vehicle every single time so if i do remember i'll leave a link to that video down below in the comment section however as far as the other free vehicle all of you guys will be able to get tomorrow of course being the prize ride over at the ls car meet and this week's prize ride will be the d-class tulip as you guys can see on screen 
is classified as a civilian car however more interestingly is also spotted in the gta 6 trailer you guys might notice this is a common theme that rockstar games are doing currently dropping a lot of vehicles from the gta 6 trailer back into the game whether that's with the chop shop dlc or a vehicle on discount However, typically this vehicle would be setting you guys back $718,000. However, in order to get it for free come tomorrow, all you guys will have to do is place top three in LS car meet races for three days in a row. So it's very, very easy to finish top three for three days in a row. What you can go ahead and do is host your own race and just invite two other players into your race. So at that point, all you've got to do is just make sure you finish the race and don't DM and you guys will pass this challenge no stress whatsoever and of course as far as the new time trials that will be offering double money come tomorrow the normal time trial will be known as El Burro Heights and the HSW time trial will be East Vinewood to Vespucci Beach and as far as what robberies we're going to have available over at the salvage yard we're going to have the Dighty robbery the Casco robbery and the Ellie robbery and as you guys can see on screen here are all of the test vehicles that will be available at the car dealerships come tomorrow if you guys are looking for any of these vehicles that may have been removed from the in-game websites. And of course, finally, it is worth mentioning, Rockstar Games will be removing the snowfall from the game tomorrow, along with all of the current Christmas events that have been in the game. So if you guys haven't got the Gooch outfit yet, the Yeti outfit, or the Snowman outfit, make sure you guys jump online tonight to grab them as it will be your last chance to do so and if you want to guide on any of these events i'll leave a link to the full playlist down below in the comment section where like i said i've covered all of the christmas events in full detail and if you guys would like to keep up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news trade cars or find other players to make money with on the game then do be sure to go ahead and join my discord server which will be linked as a pinned comment underneath this video. We've got tons of players on every single console, so you're more than welcome to go ahead and join us. And if you guys aren't aware, Rockstar Games still do have a ton of police themed content that they do plan on dropping into the game in the coming weeks, including a police mini heist, some new police vehicles, and potentially some new police outfits. I will be speaking more about the outfits in a future video. However, if you guys do want more information on the mini heist or the gauntlet interceptor which will be a new police car i'll leave a link to the full videos down below in the comment section however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.